All right, well, praise the Lord Jesus who's given us everything we need for our Z brand sheep's head fish tacos. And you know, if you've got the uh, jalapeno brine to start with, uh, we like to use that. If you don't happen to have some jalapeno brine available, that's fine. Just use about a pint of water and four tablespoons of salt. Uh, so we go ahead and put the brine in there and about an ounce and a half of Zatarain's uh, shrimp and crab boil. Then you just add the fillets and try and get as much coverage as you can down in the brine. And if your hands end up touching that, make sure you wash your hands really well because, well, let's just say if you touch your eyes or something, it's going to hurt. And we're going to add half a lime. So patience is the key, right? We're going to make these fish tacos tomorrow night for dinner. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, put the lid on this, pop it in the fridge. Going to be in the fridge for 24 hours, infusing the fillets with all that Zatarain's brine, lime, and jalapeno flavor. And then tomorrow, it's going to be awesome, awesome. Sheep's head and uh, don't think too much about the kind of fish. This happens to be sheephead, but you could use any kind of fish you have. Redfish, speckled trout, flounder, uh, it's all good. So we got the pan heating up there. All right, so the main key though is getting these in the Z-brine the night before, and I showed you how to do that a few minutes ago. Uh, so these have been in the Z-brine for 24 hours, and then we just got the butter heating up in a pan, medium high heat. Oh yeah, gonna be good. Get our fish fillets in the pan. Oh wow, that's a delight for the senses, huh? All right, so you could add additional uh, flavors at this point. Uh, we've got enough heat in there, so I'm not adding any more chili powder or anything like that. I'm adding, a, a buddy gave me this garlic lemon pepper. And uh like this stuff. Gave this a try the other day. Uh, this stuff tastes real good, so we're going to add a little of that. All right, and then uh, the rest of it is just your favorite taco fixings. Uh, my wife made this wonderful salsa. Got the shredded cheese. One thing we do with the lettuce is we add cilantro and my buddy visited and he gave us a whole bunch of fresh cilantro uh, so we got a, a lot of cilantro in with the lettuce and that you want to turn on uh, tacos man add cilantro to your lettuce and that just makes it awesome oh don't forget the avocado yeah when you're when you're cooking something that's been z brined it really does aerosolize the the heat so sometimes people, it can affect their senses in ways that you didn't anticipate. So just like most fish, uh, we're just cooking it until it flakes apart really easily, um, until it turns white. I mean, all the, the usual doneness tests. Might as well go ahead and taste test the fish. Well, just because I'm the cook. Wow, this is good. This is going to be on the warm side, spicy-wise, to what some of our fan club is used to. All right, and you know, you could, you know, go ahead and put this in a plate, cut it up, put it in a bowl. We're just going to break it into taco meat right in the pan. Well, because that's how we roll. 
So I went ahead and turned off the heat now that the fish is finished cooking and it will cook a little more uh, in the residual heat. Wow, Ooh, this is awesome. So, you know, we use an ounce and a half of the Zatarain's crab boil. If you really like spicy food, like I do, I grew up in New Orleans, I like most of my salsa hot, uh, you might go ahead and go with the ounce and a half. But, you know, if you like mild, you may only go with one tablespoon of the Zatarain's in the brine. Uh, just depends on how you roll. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and make my taco. All right, time for the taste test. Well, this is off the charts good. I mean, this is what a fish taco was meant to be. Kind of like a shrimp boil and a taco all in one. I mean, it's good. Permission to speak freely as soon as you are able. I like it. I'm not a more hotter, more better person, but the rest of the taco ingredients make this good. I am a fan of spice, so. So for a person of a more modest palate, how would you recommend adjusting uh, the amount of Zatarain's in the brine? I guess I just might go either or. Either the jalapeno juice or the Zatarain's. Wow, the heat's hitting me again. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Reminds me of those crawfish boils in college when they finally used enough Zatarain's in the mix. I'm a graduate of Louisiana State University, by the way. So that's what I mean when I say those crawfish boils in college. Chapel on the campus used to have crawfish boils and wow, they were pretty good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Tell me, do you care? To obey. Hi. From 2016 to 2022, I've never asked for contributions and none of my platforms are monetized. I'm generally more favorable to giving to widows and orphans than to giving to preachers. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. Jesus cares about the girls in these homes. I just completed Christian leadership training with Dr. Mark Rutland who founded Global Servants, I've reviewed their financials, and I am impressed both with their accountability and the large proportion of contributions directly supporting their girls in Ghana and Thailand. Please visit their website, globalservants.org, and pray about giving to these girls through them. Tell me, do you care to obey him?